All right, folks, we all know that there's a thousand videos, people changing mooses on YouTube. The most realistic one is Ty Davis has a really good one, Zip Tie Racing. Check his out, it's the best, most realistic. Most of them are people just taking a clapped out flat moose and sticking it in a tire and doing it in 30 seconds, which isn't super realistic. So one thing that I found though, is I got this recommendation from the Ty Davis about using this tire soap. And then I would be all OCD about lubing up the moose, sticking it in the tire, and making a huge mess everywhere. Then that evolved into, uh, well, hey, you can take an old tube and cut this out and stick it in the rim, pull the valve core out, and inject it in with a syringe. Several videos, people doing that. But the one thing that I've came up with that works the best for me is I got this, this tire pump here. And what I like to do is fill this tire pump up with the exact quantity that I want. Usually about a cup, cup and a half of lube. And then just inject it in through the valve core that I installed, just above the rim lock there. And every time I've done that and then pulled the tire off, there has been plenty of lube in there. So this just saves you a little bit of hassle of if you don't have the syringe, getting a good seal and all that stuff. And then when I'm done, I just take the tire pump, fill it up with water and pump it out. And gets all the soap out of there and dissolves really easy. So here we go. So I just go ahead and dip the funnel right into the container and fill it up. Get all my soap in there. Maybe I'll have to stir it in there a little bit. Maybe I'll have to stir it in there, it's a little gooey. And there it is, we're all finished. All I gotta do now is go flush out my pump and put things away. But this seems to be, there is some mess on the floor, but it's way less messy than putting it in all lubed up. Anyhow, maybe this helps you, hope it does. If you got some better ideas, put them in the comments. Thanks, bye.